What is up, everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I am coming at you from the Manuka, Illinois terminal. We'll get into why I am here right now, but uh, man, these shippers have been like seriously messing up on like three out of the last six loads I've taken going back before I even went on home time. And it's becoming like a problem, but uh, really maybe not a problem that could be fixed because it's not like it's the same shipper. But before I get into that, just wanted to really quickly touch on uh, my review of this week's safety meeting. Really didn't talk about anything that hasn't been talked about before, anything like that. But one thing I did want to talk about is uh, I've talked to people, they said there has been some lag time between when they ask for personal conveyance, when they get it. So <clears throat> what I would do is if I got to a shipper receiver, wherever I'm at, I try to send that message uh, as early as possible and maybe follow that up with a call. Also, there's been a little bit of a lag between when they allow the personal conveyance and when it actually shows up on the Qualcomm. One of the solutions to this is go to your eight day tab on your logs, scroll up to request log update or something like that. And that will uh, maybe speed that up a little bit. Uh, they've been saying that, the, that there hasn't been um, issues with the call times coming in. That's what they're saying. And I have somebody that I talked to on the phone that says that that necessarily isn't the case. So they're talking about average times. I don't know if the 15 minutes that the person I'm talking to was factored into that or not. But uh, anyway, still having issues with that. But, you know, life ain't always fair. Enough about that. So these shippers and receivers have been, or excuse me, these shippers have been messing up a lot lately going back to before i even came or before i even went on home time so like i said three out of the last six shippers i've had issues where you know i was out in sioux falls south dakota uh picking up a meat load i forget what the name which one it is out there but they're like okay here just go out here here's your trailer number go out there pick it up come back around and get your paperwork so let's just say that the the uh, trailer number was 202012. I go back there, don't find 202012. There's only like eight trailers back there. So I go back up front after wasting all this time and I say, hey, you guys don't have 202012, but you have 202021. Is that the right trailer? No, this like this one, just go back and take another look. And I go back there, waste another 15, 20 minutes, then come back and they're like, oh yeah, uh, I just talked to somebody and they said that they mixed up the trailer number. So I wasted a bunch of time doing that. And it's not like it was actually fucking warm out there at the time when I'm going out there dealing with this. So, you know, that's happened. And then uh, another load I had was, you know, almost the exact same thing. And then yesterday, this was, or not yesterday, but when I picked up this load a couple days ago, this was really bad. So I go out here. Oh, we're going to talk about some super trucking I did today too. But I uh, go pick up this load out in Springfield, Massachusetts. I actually like the shipper a lot outside of the fact that they messed up the load. So I go out there and they say, uh, go to the guard shack. They're like, okay, uh, ask me for my numbers, all that kind of stuff. I give them my numbers. They say, okay, go pick up this trailer. So I go back, pick up the trailer, make it all the way through the uh, guard shack. You know, because I had to check out of the guard shack. They had to double check my seal, double check my trailer, all that stuff. Made it out of that. Parked, like, in this little dirt area that was there. Did my live low call. Call them. and they, You know, sometimes they ask you for shit that doesn't make sense, but I'm glad they did it this time. They're like, do you have this number? And I'm like saying, no, I don't have that number. I got one that's like this. They're like, well, you got to 
go back around and talk to these people. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Go back, talk to them, pull in the gate, and uh, then they recognize their error. Because everything was the same. Going to the same location, all this kind of stuff. And the bad part about it was when I checked in, they gave me a seal. And they said, okay, put two load locks in like this. Uh, and then put the seal on and then come out on your way out. So I'd already had my seal on this trailer, load locks in it, all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, listen, I understand that you guys gave me the long, wrong load, but I got load locks back here and I had like good load locks back there. Uh, can you guys break the seal? Let me get my load locks out. So that created like a whole nother issue. So they're like, hey, could you just call your fleet manager and you know, the other driver hasn't shown up and then maybe you guys could switch loads because they're both going to the same place and all this kind of stuff. So I'm like, you know what? That works for me. Call my fleet manager. Now, first of all, I already knew how this was going to go. Love my fleet manager. No, I can't get a hold of him ever. So call, call, call. I ain't answering. Call me, you know, send him messages. Call me, you know, all this kind of stuff. And then finally I get a hold of him. He's like, well, I'm at lunch and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, well, what about the other guy? Well, he might be helping other people, and I'm just like, Jesus, fuck. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave my load locks in there. If this other driver comes in, tell him I got my load locks in here. So I ended up having to drop a trailer, go pick up a trailer, drop a trailer, pick up a trailer. So I pick up my right load and uh, head out on my way. Now, normally, I wouldn't worry about load locks, but i just given... You know, Myra, this drive mother truck, I just gave her some load locks. So I was a little bit short. I think I had four. So I didn't want to be, you know, give it, give up anymore if I didn't have to. So uh, good thing was when I got out to the receiver this morning, the other driver was there with my load locks in the back of his trailer. So I was able to recuperate those. But uh Yeah, it's just been an issue with me lately with these shippers. Now, when I got to this receiver today, whoever, whatever driver, whoever's putting some of these notes in here for, you know, like notes to get to the shipper, directions, all that kind of stuff, just write in normal fucking English. How much time are you wasting by actually spelling out like an entire word than just like cutting off two digits on it or whatever? But didn't really matter this time. I was coming from a totally different direction that uh, these directions were based on. And when I got close to the shipper, every the road I was supposed to turn down, blocked. Can't go down that road. Every other turn I was trying to make, no trucks, no trucks, no trucks. And I'm going to tell you, Hammond, Hammond, Illinois. What's the name of this place? Seleucia, something like that. They are good about like actually having like big signs you know, no trucks down this route and all that kind of stuff. So I got to commend them for that. But at some point, once I drove around all these different places and couldn't find a direct route, truck route into this, I was like, I got to go for mine. You know, I left with plenty of time to get there. I was 19 miles away when I stopped at the TA out in Lake, whatever it is in Indiana. But if I kept messing around, by the time I got there, I had like 15 minutes to get there because I'm driving around trying to avoid all these no truck routes. Finally, I was just like, you know what? I've drove around here enough. I can see where I'm supposed to be going. That sign says no truck route, but I I got to go for mine. So I knew if I could just make this turn that I'd be able, I'd be in. So made that turn and, uh, basically got me where I needed to go. Now, I don't know what route would have got me there without, because I it seemed like I took every possible way to get to this place, and every route said no trucks, no trucks, no trucks. And uh, like I said, went for mine, you know, had to dabble outside the lines to get there, but I got there, and uh, I think that this place in Hammond, Illinois, or Indiana, wherever it was, Indiana, probably had more restricted truck routes than anywhere I've ever been. New York, Chicago, 
any of them. I mean, it was like damn near every street you turned down uh, was like no trucks, you know, whatever. So finally got there. Uh, I was a little frustrated. I, if I'd have been a little bit younger, I'd have cussed the motherfucker out because I back into uh, the dock. You know, they give me all these little rules, you know, back up to the dock, go inside and get the uh, bolt cutters, cut the bolt, open the doors, and then uh, put your paperwork on top of here that not one time they say slide your tandems. Now, typically, I would slide my tandems either way, but it was a little cold outside, so I was like, you know, let me skip that step right now. So I'm backed up against the dock, and somebody comes out and said, move your tandems. Said it almost like that. I might have thrown a little bit more on it than what it was, but after all that frustration, I mean... Like I said, 10 years ago, I'd have probably uh, said, if you would have wanted to move, why didn't you fucking tell me when I was in here earlier? But I didn't do that because I'm older and wiser. So anyway, they got me unloaded pretty quick. Um, got my load locks back and had to bring this trailer that I picked up out here in Springfield, Massachusetts to uh, Massachusetts. Um to the Manuka terminal to get this gash that was anyway I'm not sure if Meyer was calling me I had to call her right back real quick but I had to bring it to this terminal there's a huge gash alongside of it needed to get that repaired uh, so that's why I'm here right now and I'm going to go ahead and try to get my deer guard adjusted but let me call Myra my superstar up I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by no hippie trucking and transportation as always comment subscribe and I'm out